All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to cut longer pieces on a smaller CNC machines. And the way you can do that is by uh, dovetailing the pieces together, breaking them in half, dovetailing them together so they kind of fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, but you're, you're reducing the overall length per piece. So instead of cutting two pieces, one piece and then two piece for these two pieces, we'll actually cut four, top and bottom for each one of them. And the easiest way to do that is to just add a dovetail. Now you'll have to do a little bit of testing to figure out what type of fit you're wanting for your particular dovetails or your particular puzzle pieces. But the process is incredibly simple. I'm gonna to go to this line tool and just so we can get a horizontal line, actually, yeah, just so the bases of this will line up. I'll make one horizontal line for each side over here, something like that. And then we will actually draw the shape now, this is where you'll have to experiment on some scrap material to find out what shape uh, produces the best results for you. But this is just showing you the process. Now, we need to, uh, just to make these different, a flat top dovetail and an angle top dovetail. That way you know that these two pieces go together and you don't accidentally cross them, even though these are independently drawn. I'm not copying one from the other. Uh, but just, just for reference here, we'll draw a, we'll draw an arc from this corner to this corner with yeah, that much rise, that sounds alright. Uh, now we will use the trim tool, interactive trim. We don't need that piece, we don't need that, and we don't need that. So now here's our shapes. Obviously this is a arched top, it won't fit over here. And what we can do from here is also we need to take into consideration the, the tooling that we're using to cut this. If you're cutting this out on a laser cutter, then you will have a tiny, 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 tiny kerf. But when it comes to fitting pieces together, you'll have to take into consideration the slight taper you get, say, in, in my experience, cutting quarter inch MDF with a laser, you'll get a slight, slight taper, and therefore you'll need to offset one of these by uh, just a tiny amount. In, in my case, my experience, I, I needed to offset the male side of this joint by 0.25 millimeter to get a really tight snap together fit. So taking into consideration your tooling. Here, we're using a CNC machine with a router. So the fillet is equal to, let's see, the tool radius. We're using a quarter inch diameter bit. So the radius is 0.125. I like to go just a little bit more than that. So 0.13 is fine. And we'll hit all these corners so that way uh, both cuts will actually line up with this particular router bit. Now you still have some interfering geometry, so this does fit together like a puzzle. Now, all we need to do is take these two pieces and make them four. So let's grab everything, control C for copy, control V for paste, hold shift and press right to quickly move it over there. And we can use the interactive trim to cut the top of these two and cut the bottom of these two. Delete that. And are these now, yes, they are closed vectors. I didn't have to join any of these. So that's good. I will group these because this is in a desired location, so I'll group that. And now we can grab all of these, hold shift, just move it around down here. And instead of having a, uh, what the original one was 36 inches long, instead of having needing a cutting capacity of 36 inches, now all we need is, you know, 20 inches or so. There's a little bit of room at the bottom. So you, you'll be safe to cut this out on a 21 inch in, in this direction. So that's how you take a long item and break it with a dovetail connection uh, to make it fit back together like a puzzle once you get it off of the machine. Hope that helps.